All right, I want to take a few minutes and hopefully this will work. I'm trying to do this on my own, but we've got a demonstration of a ball hone, which is what this is here. It's called a ball hone. Some people call it a dingleberry hone, uh, grape hone, all kinds of different words for it. What we've got is a series of abrasive balls that are all attached to the rod in the middle using like a nylon wire fixture and these are made to a specific size and what they're used for is for honing cylinders now they can be very small to hone brake cylinders or even up to I think the largest they make is something like 24 or 28 inches very large cylinders uh, very common use of them is what we're going to do here right now which is engine cylinder reconditioning uh, with the ball hone like we see here so we have an engine block that's been stripped down and the cylinders just need to have a little bit of deglazing done to them they need to be reconditioned this is what you would do if you're going to install new piston rings um, or uh, recondition the cylinders All right, so now I have a volunteer just appeared to help hold my camera. So we're going to demonstrate how this works. So you're going to hold that so that you're looking down at the cylinder. I've already done this one and this one. We're going to move to this one. In order to use the hone, you need to have a little bit of oil to help with the cutting. This is just cheap motor oil. That's all that's needed. Smear a little bit. up into the cylinder then you take the cylinder the uh, ball home and you have to run it you want a cross hatch pattern so the ball home is going to rotate and as the ball home rotates you need to be moving up and down so move to the side a little bit and you don't want to go too fast when you go super fast then when it hatches the cross hatch won't be right so it's in there it's kind of slow easy and I like to run this for about two minutes. Are you going to hold that for two minutes? <laughs> Am I? No, we're not going to do this for the whole two minutes. So you just run it back and forth to get the entire length of the cylinder. And then when you're done, it starts to make this little slurry in here. But when we're done, if you look down in there, you get a nice, there we go. You get a nice little cross hatch pattern on the cylinder. Hopefully, we can see that. Versus over here, before we did it, it's glazed, a little glossy. Okay. Okay, now that my volunteers left, the uh, ball homes come in different sizes. I was saying that a second ago. And what you have to do is you measure your cylinder bore, or you, you determine your cylinder bore, and in this case my cylinder bore is 3.7 inches. You match the ball hone diameter to the cylinder. The ball hone specified diameter is for the cylinder. If I were to measure this hone, it'll be larger than the listed diameter which this one I purchased is 3.75 because that's the closest they had to a 3.7 if they don't have your exact one you go up one increment so 3.75 but if I were to measure this I didn't measure it but if I were to measure this it'll be larger than 3.75 because it's designed to hone a cylinder that's 3.75 inches in this case I'm 3.7 inches so we're still right there the hones come in different grits the little ball uh, a different abrasive grit. This particular one is 240 grit. That's pretty much a catch-all if you don't know otherwise. There is a listing on the website for Flex Hone. And I'll do my little product plug right here. Flex Hone. Because as far as I know, they're the only ones that actually manufacture this particular type of hone. And there is a nice little... Uh, 
reference document on there you look at your piston ring manufacturer the piston ring manufacturer specifies the grit of the hone that they they want you to use so it's a very very good hone with the flexible balls it stays centered you don't have to worry about taking too much material off you don't have to worry about being off centered while you're trying to do your honing because it self centers in the cylinder because of the way it's designed uh, they work extremely well at doing exactly what we do most commonly in the shop which would be just to if we're just going to install new rings in an otherwise good motor and a lot of times on modern engines we do do that because the cylinder rings are made so lightweight that they don't really wear the cylinder as much as they just lose spring tension or over time the oil control rings will clog and and clamp inside the ring of the piston groove and you start getting excess oil consumption through there so at any rate as a finishing method here we'll use that once I'm done with this entire block to clean it use soap and water with a scrub brush you don't use just a chemical brake clean it does not a chemical brake cleaner kind of or carburetor cleaner does not get rid of all of the oil residue and machining residue that's left over when we do this you have to use soap and water and just regular dish soap the uh, degreasing type dish soap dawn dishwashing liquid ivory whatever you happen to have there and a uh, toilet brush works really really well I had one out here and I've lost it now uh, but a regular round toilet brush works really well for cleaning these out so it also makes your wife or girlfriend wonder what you're shopping for when you're going out so at any rate this is a uh, basic demonstration of a flex home and I hope you've enjoyed